Welcome back here to the channels Super Academico and Tapa Olho Azul with one more video about movies. Today I'm going to comment some well, I'm going to comment the same movie but with several different names. The movie is the Seven Samurais, a classic a movie made by Akira Kurosawa, a movie maker, a Japanese movie maker, very famous, very very notorious, a very known artist in the in the cinema, in the in the global cinema. And the, this story is very simple actually is the story of a village that is threatened by criminals and they hire some heroes uh, some some mercenaries to fight for them and in the in the way they have to learn with the the mercenaries how to fight for themselves is a story about uh, how to overcome your fear, your personal fears, né? as a, 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 a weak, a weakening group of people to fight for themselves. So the seven samurais are hired for that, uh, for this, this, this intent to protect a village. It's very simple. It's very very common and very relatable uh, anyone can relate to that s story uh, you have heroes that are higher uh, higher in the sense that they are they, they work for money they and they are heroes but they're not s uh, selfless heroes they're selfish heroes and in the way of course they learn how to collaborate with the, the people of the village and become real heroes eh? and the, the, the story is very universal and eh? each hero represents uh, a part of the human condition and uh, the courage the the, the, the fear uh, the the funny and uh, the one the talents the silence the all the kind of different aspects of the the, the hero face as Joseph Campbell always says they have to go to the same path, but in different ways. But uh, this the path is the same, the path of the hero. So uh, I'm going to comment not only the story, but the fact that this story is so universal that is often repeated, copy, and reference in so many different ways. So. The Seven Samurai, the original Seven Samurai, is a Japanese movie made by Akira Kurosawa in the 50s, I think, 50s, in the 50s. In the 60s already, the Americans made the Western version of the story with the Magnificent Seven, in Portuguese, Seven Men and One Destiny, <laughs> in Portuguese the, the translation. It's something like that and it was starred by Will Brenner and Steve McQueen and other actors uh, I think Charles Bronson Charles Bronson is this movie and Vince Vaughn Vince Vaughn is the movie too I don't know the others but it's the story is the same it's the same story always a village is threatened by criminals and they hire heroes mercenaries mercenary heroes and they train the people in the village to defend themselves so they end up relating to the village and becoming hero heroes the in the village the people of the village learn how to defend themselves and become self-confident and something like that and uh, they're all the, the the training scenes is always the same it's so funny it's so funny that people that don't know these movies they don't see that the training scenes are always the same in the 70s there is this version a space version of the seven samurais it's called battle beyond the stars in portuguese is uh mercenaries of the galaxy galaxy mercenaries something like that 
we we translate the movies differently at the time it's it's funny how to uh, get the trans the Portuguese translations the Portuguese versions and translate into English it's very funny uh, for example there's the movie uh, airplane uh, 78 79 movie comedy movie airplane <laughs> in Portuguese the name is Brazilian Portuguese uh, is the name is uh, buckle your seatbelt the pilot has gone missing <laughs> that that's the title of the movie airplane here so in Be Battle Beyond the Stars is a version where the same thing happened, as I said, uh, a village, but in this case not a village, but a planet, is threatened by a criminal, a big criminal from the, the, the stars, the, the space, and so they go uh, to, uh, to other planets to hire some mercenary heroes to defend them, so they end up learning to defend themselves some of the heroes die some others become like a part of the of the community but the story is the same the same uh, one fun thing about this story is that that is uh, not only a, a, a copy of seven summers but it's always uh, um, it's also always on also a, a copy a ripoff of star wars the the producer the famous producer uh roger corman he saw the opportunity as he always saw seen to copy the the success of star wars and make this this rip off battle beyond the stars but the story so you don't have to be very creative with the story it's just in space because of star wars is the the story of seven samurais you, you can count eh? one two three four five six seven it's always seven but the number changes in the 80s version in the 80s there was this movie the three amigos three amigos uh, the in portuguese the same thing uh three friends eh? three friends the three amigos amigos is spanish uh is the same story again but it's a comedy with this uh famous uh, comedy actress uh, chevy chase steve martin and martin short they are not real heroes they are actors action actors of the the silent er era of the movies of movies and they are hired as hero as he as he as they were heroes by a village that is threatened by a criminal so they 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 go to the the village and so they learn that the the the, the thing is real it's not a movie and they they end up helping the village to defend themselves the same thing just is, is a comedy so they they put uh, they took the mercenary thing they changed to actors thing there is the 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 Pixar version of that with the the movie Bugs Life. Bugs Life is the same story. You have the 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 ants that hire some heroes, but actually they are actors to defend the 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 ants. I don't know the name. The ant village. The ant. And so they end up helping the village to defend itself. It's the same story. Always the same story nobody seems to notice that there is the most recent version of the magnificent seven it's that's a remake of this one this is the original western and this is the remake of the original western which is a copy of the original samurai movie of the 50s so then in this recent version you have denzel washington Chris Pratt, uh, Ethan Hawke, some others that I don't remember the actors. I think the the, the actor that plays that plays the Kingpin in the Marvel movies, uh, he is in the movie too. Uh, Vincent D'Onofrio and others I don't know. I don't remember. So the story is the same thing. It's just more 
more updates uh, the hero is black so you have more representation you have uh, Chinese and in Indians and uh, natives, Native Americans. Uh, we have uh, we have all the same teams of the same uh, of the same uh, characters, uh, place in different positions, but doing the same thing, representing the path of the hero as always, uh, in the sense that they are always trying to overcome his problems, their problems, overcome. Uh, the, the fact that they are mercenary for hire or they have something to to uh, overcome uh, to, to be uh, over their problems like the Ethan Hawk character the, he has a PTSD uh, he, he, he doesn't want to to kill anymore but he's hired to kill people so it's a very embarrassing thing that he has to shoot things uh, in the 60s version, the character that would be like the same character, the, the, the same spirit, he's, is, he's held as a coward. He doesn't, doesn't kill, doesn't fight because he's a coward. He's just a poser, something like that. It's the Vince, Vince, Vince Vaughn character. Funny thing, Vince Vaughn is always also in in the battle beyond the stars he's one of the mercenaries he's the, this one but it is he's not a coward he's just a super rich mercenary that you uh, wants a place to rest <laughs> that's uh, a way to represent things and there is the most recent version in the sci-fi universe is the Mandalorian episode where the the story the same story is repeated. Eh? There is a crim a criminals that threat a, a village that's not a that, that that's that's populated by but not fighter people. So they hire the Mandalorian and eh? Mando to to defend them. So they are trained to defend themselves. Here in the scene, you see uh, the, the 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 colleague of the, the Mandalorian training the people, and as I said, the training the training scenes are always the same. Here, there is a version of the Seven Samurais be uh, training the population to fight for themselves. One fun thing that's uh, the creators of the Mandalorian, uh, John Favreau and, and Dave Filoni, they refer the episode as the Seven Samurai episode that was directed by Dallas Bryce Howard what, which is a, a very good episode, very nice, very well done but uh, it's the same story as I said so in, in, in Hollywood, in, in storytelling in, in many ways the, the stories just repeat themselves indefinitely just, uh, you create the same thing, it's very hard to create something uh, really different. Uh, just to to end the video, uh, one more example that uh, of this ripoff thing between between genders, eh? between genders. Uh, there is the similarities between since I spoke about the Mandalorian, the similarities between the the man with no name, the character of Clint Eastwood in the Sergio Leone's movies and the, the Boba Fett, the Mandalorian himself, the, 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 the first Mandalorian, uh, as I speak, Mandalorian is a different character of the Boba Fett. And both are ripoffs of the samurai, the samurai, the fi samurai figure that is a, a lonely samurai, a, a Ronin that has no master, a samurai with no master that gets in a place where there is a war, where there is a conflict between two factions and he starts to play with these factions so he can make money from both factions. These are, are pictures of the three movies, three characters, the, the samurai, the lonely samurai, samurai, the man with no name by Clint Eastwood and the version in the 30s, in the, the Probation Times with Bruce Willis, uh, which is a great movie, 
very violent movie, but it's the same thing. You have the uh, uh, not hero, more like an anti hero that wants to take advantage of the conflict, conflict situation to make money from both sides and end up getting to be a hero by helping mostly a woman, some someone that's supposed to be fragile, but can be a child, can be a pet, <laughs> like in John Wick. But it's funny that uh, it's always repeated, the teams and the heroes and the faces change, but it's the, same, the things the same, the same emotions, the same things that are appropriate by the filmmakers just to entertain and produce their art. <laughs> So uh, this is the video for today, I hope you enjoy, don't forget to subscribe the channels, uh, thank you to the newer subscribers to the both channels, keep watching, keep sharing the videos so people can enjoy and anything you can do can comment and search for more videos in our channels, thank you till next time.